Uh, Governor Allen, the Supreme Court Citizens United case now allows third-party nonprofit groups with private donor lists to invest heavily in campaigns. We've already seen an ad that's come out that falls under this, uh, this uh, situation um, attacking your opponent. Now, more than likely, there will be similar ads that will attack you before the end of this campaign. It's going <laughs> to fill television airwaves over the next uh, 12 months. Uh, are, are you willing to disassociate yourself from any of those third-party acts aimed at your opponent and call third-party groups to stay out of this race unless they're willing to publicly release their donor list? Well, uh, uh, Ryan, good question. Uh, because I, let me give you my, my broad sense of what we need as, as far as campaign finance reform. And I've always been an advocate of, of disclosure, and freedom. I like Virginia's approach, that the Virginia laws that are based on disclosure and freedom. The federal laws are very complicated, they're convoluted, and there are restrictions. Uh, this is a place where I disagreed with President Bush and, and many of my colleagues when I was in the Senate on that, that restriction of freedom, uh, that McCain-Feingold law. I like Virginia's laws better. Now, I'm not going to tell someone they shouldn't have their First Amendment rights of freedom of expression. We're talking about the values that are important for America in a free and just society. There is freedom of religion, freedom of expression for men and women, private ownership of property, and the rule of law. Those are things that I always advocate. And I don't want to say in the midst of political campaigns that any American citizen shouldn't be able uh, to express their views. I would hope that the expressions, whether they are against Tim, or for Tim, or against me, or for me, are based on, on factual, accurate uh, data or evidence. And, and then the voters are going to decide. They have a very clear choice in this campaign. This is a pivotal election. There's undoubted, and, and it's not just us here in Virginia recognizing it. The folks know it, Tim, as you well know, all across the country. Uh, and there'll probably be more of those ads. I would just hope that the ads, whomever they may come from, uh, will be accurate in their portrayals of my position, of Tim's position, so then the voters can make a decision. I'm very confident that anybody who pays taxes, works for a living or would like to have a job, or uses electricity or cares about their family, is going to be welcome to the A-team and the Allen team, because our ideas are going to help all Virginians, regardless of where they live, regardless of their, of their partisan persuasion. Thank you. Same question, Mr. King. I, I think the Citizens United opinion was, a, was an absolute disaster. Um, I think it's a disaster to let uh, corporations spend corporate money in the way that they're spending it now. And even more of a problem is the way that ruling combines with some other quirks in the election laws to allow people to spend money secretly. The essence of the Virginia system, as George said, which I really agree with, is everything's above board. You know who's putting the money in. And the single most important post-Watergate campaign finance reform was openness. Remember, Watergate was about cash in bags, too, not just about the break-in. But what Citizens United has done is it's opened up for groups to pour in secret money. And if you can hide your identity, you might give more. And I don't think corporate, what corporations have cor uh, constitutional rights, absolutely. But I don't think uh, they should have the exact same rights as, as living, breathing persons to affect the, uh, the outcome of political campaigns. I have been the victim of the first ad of the campaign. A uh, very good friend of George's, Carl Rove, and a group American Crossroads. Carl, George has said about Carl Rove in the past, I know so Carl Rove so well, I know what he has for breakfast. The notion that these are independent expenditures is also a great fiction. Well, and, Governor, and, and so, to Ryan, to, to close it down, George said he would hope that these ads would be honest. The first ad out of the box, a year before the election, virtually every newspaper in Virginia said, it was false. The ad said that, you know, Tim Kaine left the budget of Virginia in a deficit. We have a constitutional balanced budget requirement. I submitted balanced budgets one after the next. But Carl Rove, who is nobody's idea of a public servant, will, can spend secret money to run that. that. That kind of thing makes me so excited about this race. So excited about this race. I love being in a race where I've got the entire forces of everybody aligned against me who want to be. Now, I'll do my best work under but, pressure. But Governor, to be fair, uh, there are just as many Democratic groups or left-leaning groups that uh, 
uh, fall underneath this type of, uh, and there's I, been. I don't think that is true, right? But there's ads that have already attacked uh, Congressman Cantor that maybe haven't specifically attacked Governor Allen yet. And there are certainly going to be ads like that that will attack Governor Allen before the end of this. Would you ask them to stay out of this race, specifically some of these groups, Americans United for Change, other left leaning groups? That you if, think if George and I could reach an agreement and we could get everybody to stay out of the race other than George Allen and me, I would agree to it tomorrow. I would agree to it tomorrow. How do you feel? Yeah. You, know, you, you know, Mark, you probably look back, if you look at history and why those aren't disclosed, and a lot of it is because of intimidation for donors of certain organizations. Some were civil rights organizations back 40, 50 years ago. And so there's a reason why those organizations uh, are allowed to keep the confidentiality of their donors. Did you resent the McCarthy question? Do you think you expect to get this in every single time claim? Do you think you've sufficiently answered it? So now you're tired of it being raised. Look, Mark, I, when it comes up, I answer it forthrightly. And I acknowledge it was a mistake. I, I never should have brought that young man into the debate. He was simply doing his job. And it was a tough job as it was. And I apologize for it. And I want to make sure that this campaign stays focused on the issues and ideas and concerns of the people now and in the future. And that last campaign, it did get diverted. And I would never want to make that mistake again. Okay, thanks, folks. Thanks, people.